Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. And in this video, I want to show one of the newer features of Phrase that I think is pretty cool. Um, I, for one, don't really like to dig around inside of the Google Search Console too much. And uh, I kind of dig the way that uh, Phrase kind of goes in, grabs that data for you, and presents it to you in a nice sort of easy to understand way. And gives you some actionable things that you can use to kind of improve your content or find some quick wins and things like that that you can use to produce content that will uh, ultimately try to rank and bring you more traffic. So this is the view that you get when you click on the content and analytics thing over here. And I'm just going to kind of ramble a little bit in this video and kind of go through some of the things that I see here, what I think about it, and... Um, I hope that if you haven't seen this yet, if, you, if you're not a phrase uh, subscriber, that maybe you consider it if this something is something that you find enticing for your website or your, your content business. So the default view, I think, is this, uh, where it shows total clicks um, by default for some reason. It's like the middle, the middle thing that it wants to show, I guess. Uh, here you can see I'm looking at the AI Content Dojo, so you get kind of peek at the trend and the clicks and stuff like that for my for my site. So a peek behind the scenes, I guess, if you will. Uh, so here you can see there's similar things to what you might find inside of the Google Search Console, and um, I, I just I really like how it looks here. I'm I'm a very visual person, so I really appreciate this. I think that this is, is pretty awesome. It shows you just enough what you need kind of in one screen. It shows you your growth and some and the status here. Now, there at first, I didn't understand what these meant, right? Because these didn't have little pop-ups that made it nice and easy to understand. But top result, that means that you've had a... That page has been there in the top 10 for, for a while. And it's not losing any rank and it's doing really well. Quick win. I thought that at first that this meant like, ooh, this is something that I need to, to tackle to um, grow something quickly or something. But no, it looks like it's for something that was just published and within three months became uh, top 10. Uh, opportunity looks like it's the one where, you know, it's the classic opportunity, right? Like it's it's not on page one, it's down into the, uh, you know, two, th two page two or three maybe. And um, looks like actually it says uh, maybe two through five is what it's on. And yet it's also gaining some impressions. So it kind of has some momentum. And if you did a little bit of extra, you could probably pull it up and put it into the top 10 somehow. And that's where this little plus button comes in really handy. You can basically find your opportunities and then click that plus button. And it's going to take you to a document and phrase that you can optimize your content from. And I think that's really cool. Uh, it's, it's a sort of nice way to help you kind of find those opportunities so that you don't have to go into Google Search Console and kind of do that math yourself. Obviously you could, you know, you could sort it by like impressions and then filter it by uh, position, you know, greater than nine and, you know, whatever else, you know, voodoo you want to filter it by and that would help you find similar findings to this. But also check this out. If questions. Now this is interesting because it kind of gets into the questions that are being answered on your site and maybe some questions that you could probably, you know, work on to help you grow uh, some question pages or some FAQs that you, you maybe overlooked. Something that maybe you aren't answering or you are answering it, but you maybe you didn't focus on it and your answer is sort of maybe it's a part of a different document and it's so it's unranking for this particular term. Uh, so in this case, you know, what is conversion AI? It says it's an opportunity. You know, it's uh, ranked number 41 or so right now and still getting some impressions. So if it's that far down getting a few impressions, perhaps it would be an opportunity for me to write about it more specifically. And you can go through and see if uh, see if it has some more so how to limit. See, some of the AI Content Dojo has a little bit of uh, web tech stuff in it too. So, yeah, it's showing some of those. But I, I thought that was really cool that it kind of comes up with questions that you're um, you're being asked, kind of in a sense that people are searching for and finding your site. 
And, uh, well, I should say they may not be finding your site so much as you're getting some impressions because, you know, we all know that if you're not on the, the top page, then you're pretty much gone, right? But for some reason, you're catching some impressions and Phrase is able to detect that there's an opportunity there. So, you know, I mean, obviously, if you're way down on the fourth page and still getting some impressions, there's a good chance that there's some a decent amount of impressions on the, on the first page. So... Uh, I just think that this is a really nice view. Um, I, I don't know what else to really say about it. It's, it's kind of cool to be able to look through these different graphs and kind of see how well you're kind of, you're doing over the course of the last 28 days. I don't think that that can be changed. I also like that it's really nice and easy to click on one of these and go straight to a, uh, a phrase document. So for instance, let's see, we got some opportunities on here, which is interesting. My own... AI, so somebody searches for AI Content Dojo and it appears on position 31. I don't buy it. <laughs> Maybe. Um, seems kind of strange. Uh, I don't even know if that's... That seems weird that it's even a search. But, you know, Google Console kind of does things like that. So. Uh, so another opportunity is the best GPT-3 appears on, on this page. So if I click here, it's going to focus on this page. Then I can see all the queries that are being conducted to find that. So, okay, now it makes more sense. So GPT-3 AI Writer, some different things in there where, where it's kind of, it's ranking really well, but it's, uh, it, it, it could do, well, actually, it's doing pretty well. So I can skip down here and see if there's something. Oh, there's a lot of unranked, but probably, oh, here you go. This one's unranked, but getting 52 impressions. AI content writing tools probably could focus a little bit more on that. So if I go over here and click on a phrase document, it's going to take me straight here. It's even going to go to the place where it can import the contents for you from the existing article that's online already, targeting that particular query. And let's save and continue. New document saved. Okay, so it doesn't go straight to it either. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to documents. Now we should have this one here. We go here and let's see if it has the kind. Oh, oh, it wants to. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you import content. And it looks like there was an issue extracting content, probably because I think I have a video on there. But I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. And now my content is here. Short uh, phrase, <laughs> phrase is going out and doing its research thing. And now it's doing its topic score thing. So it looks like this particular article, it's got a pretty weak topic score. I can fit a lot of these keywords in there in a really natural way to boost it and eventually hopefully for the term AI content writing tools this article could start ranking better and it's probably a good idea I probably should do this and uh, perhaps I will someday but I just wanted to show you that that new feature is inside a phrase if you haven't seen it before and it's pretty cool I think that it's worth checking out and I know that Phrase is going to be coming up with some new features here soon that are going to, you know, it's going to boost it. It's going to have some new capabilities, especially in the AI writing space. And uh, I look forward to testing those out too. And if you have any questions about Phrase, I would, I'm, I'm considering putting together a series of trainings for this product too, because Phrase is one of my foundational tools. I've, I, I use Phrase, I use Shortly and Jarvis. Um, all the time, Grammarly as well, to produce my content. So I think that uh, anything that I can do to help you make the most of this tool, I would gladly do. So uh, please, in the description, I mean, not description, below in the comments, if you would like to request something specific, or if you're in the AI Content Dojo Facebook group, uh, same thing. I might post this in the phrase group if you're there, and I did, then uh, yeah, you can reply there as well. Uh, and yeah, that's it. And uh, until next time, take care.